for this year's Mayday program. Although we are not doing a live event this year, this program promises not to disappoint. Our Hamana have been hard at work, practicing and preparing for today's event. They are excited and proud to share with you their dances they've worked so diligently on. Let's get things started with our first graders. Kao Nani is a song written by Mary Pakui and speaks of the beauty that exists in the world around us, from the birds that fly in the sky to the flowers that grow on the earth. From the forests where the trees grow to the oceans where the fishes swim, our world is indeed filled with beauty. Here are the first graders performing Ke Ao Nani. Aloha, my name is Mara Jade, and I'm glad that the whole first grade get getting to do this and that we get to use the color out.
Well done, first grade. Maikai Puna Mae Mae is part of a longer mele written for Queen Emma's Wakai Tri Puna. In her perspective, Puna is good and cleansed by the sacred Fire Woman. This is a hula noho pa'i umauma. Enjoy as the third graders take you on a trip to Puna. Aloha, my name is Benjamin Kalamu. Our song is about Puna, and I am here to share what I love about Puna. This wonderful place gives us plants, shelter, and food. We all live in this beautiful place, and it has this wonderful thing. It has forests, it has homes, it has beautiful schools, like our wonderful Keone Poco. I love how it grants us many things. And also, but we also must take care of it. We must not chop down all the trees, which we will not overhunt. But we will stay calm in this miraculous place. And I love it. Mahalo third grade, the Ohia tree, which is the keystone tree of our forest and so important to our watershed here in Puna, is highlighted in the mele. This mele was written based on the story of Puka Ohia Laka and her sister Kaua Kuahiva. The, fir the first Ohia tree is said to have grown in a cave in our very own Ala'a forest. Mahalo to Mrs. Donnelly for composing the melody and working with Kumupo Alani to write the words. Mahalo to Ryan Hiraoka for recording this with Mrs. Donnelly and Uncle Carl Zinsman for playing guitar. Here are the second graders performing Kuka Ohialaka. 
aloha ovo o kila kila. Noho vau ma maku'u, he valu o u maka hiki, hili ke ia mele i ka o hia. Nui ka u aloha i no ka o hia, he awai au mahalo. Hello, my name is Kila. I am eight years old. I live on my Kuu. This this song is about Earl Kia. I love the Hoia tree so much. I am a Hawaiian for all eternity. Mahalo. Our youngest students on campus brings us two melodies today. The first song talks about the moon and how it changes shape during the month. The other melody talks about the koleo bird, which frequents our campus. Every spring, we get to see the koleo bird change its colors as it readies itself to fly away to Alaska. Please sit back and enjoy our preschoolers' performance. My name is Alfredo, and I'm at the part of the Ho'onui. And, and what is getting Ho'onui? And what the whole Anui is the part of the moon. And it's getting what? It's getting, it's getting, it's getting big. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mahalo Preschool. The sounds of the Olili and Kalea are indeed sweet like honey. Next up are our fifth graders, Ulili E, written by some of the most memorable Hawaiian music composers of the Chalangalang era, talks about the happenings of this bird on Kekaha Kauai. It is there on Kekaha that the Kalea makes its first stop back in the islands when returning from Alaska. Hi, my name is Giselle Vaughn, and fifth grade will be singing the song Ulili E, and my favorite bird is the Ulili E because it watches the sea the same way I watch the sea, even though I might be afraid of the water. Hi, my name is Chloe Suarez, and fifth grade will be performing Ulili E. Mm. Ulili E is a song about two seabirds, the Ulili and the Koleo bird. As we got to sing the song more and more, we got to learn about the birds more and how they live, as well as learning Hawaiian and what the words meant for those who did not know how to speak Hawaiian and did not know the language. homeland is indeed one we love. Lili U, our first and last queen of Hawaii, had aloha like no other for her land and her people. Lili Ue was written for a queen by Anton Kao. It is a mele inoa, or a personal song, that praises Lili Uo Kalani. The mele speaks of how her eyes sparkled and how her people loved and adored her as their queen. Here are the fourth graders performing Lili Ue.
Thank you, fourth grade. Ikaika Antone, co-writer of the song and singer keyboardist of the Green, says, My Hawaii is about the ever-changing landscape of Hawaii. These changes we feel are often not in the best interest of the land or its people. It is a song that speaks to the beauty of Hawaii and of the impor importance to protect it. He goes on to say that My Hawaii is inspired by the strength and courage of our Hawaiian people and that we, as stewards of this land, set the right example so that our keiki may have the tools to continue to move Hawaii in the right direction. Performing for the last Kinopoko Mayday are sixth graders with My Hawaii by the Green.
job this grade. Punana Kamanu honors Kunui Akea, the son of Kamehameha III. This mele honors the contributions that Kamehameha III made towards advancing the literacy of Hawaiian people. Kamehameha III is famed for saying, He apuni pala pala ko'u. My nation is a literate nation. Listen for the a, e, i, o, u of the Hawaiian alphabet and join along with the keiki. A special connection to this mele is that the original Kunui Okeo was the grandson of the famed navigator Hawaii Loa and was born in Puna. Hi, I'm Aria Rose and I really like making the bird nest Punana. My name is Kai Kone. I like A A E O U. King Christian Carvalho, son of Anthony and Elizabeth Carvalho, and Queen Leangela Kononui, daughter of Wendell Kononui, and Ronnie Leangela Carantes, honor the Ohia Lehua tree and the rain that beats it. The song they are dancing is Kula Ibi, the theme of our huike. This song, written by Larry Kamara and Peter Moon, speaks of our responsibility to care for our homeland Hawaii and the deep connection we have to our land.
We hope you enjoyed our 2022 May Day program. Thank you to our parents, faculty, and staff who all worked together to make this program a success. We especially want to mahalo Kumu Pulani and our school's May Day committee for their many hours of planning and work to make today possible. We will close today with the singing of Hawaii Aloha. Mama